2003. Everything right there, your uh, sling type seat with a uh, shooting rest on it. And everything. Yeah. Hi, my name is Russ Ivory. I'm from West Jordan, Utah. I'm a retired miner. I worked for a copper company there in Salt Lake uh, for 32 years. Retired about seven years ago. And since then, I landed what you'd call maybe a, a job that every outdoorsman would want. I worked for Cabela's part time, which gives me a lot of time to go out and do what I like to do, and that's be out in the outdoors hunting and fishing, things like that. I, uh, I like being with the people and dealing with the people. And, camaraderie that goes on, it's really enjoyable. I remember as a young kid, just about four or five years old, watching my dad and all of his friends come into the town with their truckloads of deer. I used to stand down there and be at awe with these big deer hanging in the sheds and they talked about it. I'll never forget my first hunt with my dad. We was uh, I was five years old. He went up into a canyon. I thought it was a million miles to climb up in there. My dad went around the corner and shot a nice big four-point mule deer. I'll never forget, he uh, let me pack his gun out while he drugged that deer. And I'll, I'll remember that to this day. It's aching my mind forever. It's kind of interesting. I have never hunted a whitetails before. It's a whole different concept than what I'm used to. I'm always into the stock, spot and stock for mule deer, elk with the bugling and everything. This is more of a sit and be patient. Hope for the best. Really quite different for me. The thing that enticed me about becoming a member of Sportsman in North America is one day I was watching television on the Sportsman channel and this program came on and it said, win a hunt of a lifetime. And I went, hmm, hunt of a lifetime, quite an experience. I've had several hunts of my lifetime. Maybe this will be something in the page, sort of a bucket list to me that I can go into and see about doing. Maybe I got a chance to do something I normally wouldn't be able to do on my own, by myself, meet some neat, different people and stuff. So I go up to my computer and log on and read through the ins and outs of what it takes to enjoy, join the club and everything, and I thought, this sounds pretty good, I'm gonna do it. So I signed up and sent in my, my money for it, and it was very reasonable. Didn't think a whole lot of it, kind of sent it off on its way, and lo and behold, four weeks later, I'm down looking on the internet, going through their uh, chat form there, and. Uh, Went to log on and there's my name, winner of the week, you know, and I'm like, wow, I just want to hunt. Whitetail, in Illinois, and I'm like, this is cool. I got, you know, muzzleloader, I've been looking forward to this. You know, there's two or three places I wanted to hunt whitetail. One of them was Illinois, one was Texas, and one was Saskatchewan, and here I am, I'm going on a whitetail hunt. If anybody was out there and listening to this and wanted to do something like I did and just experience what I do, I'd advise you to get a hold of Sportsman of North America on the internet or however you do it or watch one of their shows and, and get involved in their program because it's it's really something for the average Joe to get out and enjoy what the high dollar guy, guy can do. I mean, it's it's very, very interesting program. It's, it's good for hunting, it's good for camaraderie, and I like to say I like the camaraderie. I mean, Getting, I met people from uh, all walks of life in different country. I mean, different states, uh, New York, uh, Florida, everywhere. And uh, these are people I'd have never got to see had I not been able to be involved with this. So get out and enjoy it and, and, and join this club if you've got a chance because the opportunity comes. Uh, you never know. But it, one thing about it, you're not going to get it if you don't try it. <laughs>